Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. If you don't want to say hallelujah, I'll make you say, Shema Israel Adonai Elohenu Adonai Echad. Which one do you prefer to say? <laughs> hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, somebody. I have good news for somebody today. You have been having a problem with your heart. It feels that as though it sometimes want to jump out of your chest. Today, God is going to give you a new heart and you will live and glorify the name of the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who's that person? Who, who's that person with, with the heart problem? Come, come quickly. Come quickly. Let me give it to you quickly in the name of Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. Can you stretch your hand? Can you stretch your hand towards her in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. My daughter, in the name of Jesus, I release this blessing in your life. Can you stretch your hand? Let's believe God for a miracle. Come, come, Mary Jo. Come, you put your hands on them in the name of Jesus. Today, we give you a miracle that there would be no more problem like this. Heart, I say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. And the people of God say, yes, Lord. Come on, can you say, yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody else. You've been having a problem with your bones. It's as if it's trying to twist in the wrong direction. You're trying to walk straight, but it's not. Today, in the name of Jesus, we announce healing for you. Come on, healing for you. I want to share today from my heart, from the book of Genesis chapter 29. Open your Bible if you have one here or your phone. <laughs> I can't do the phone thing. I got to do the word. Hear what the Bible says in Genesis 29. The Bible says, And Laban had two daughters. The name of the one was Leah, and the other name was Rachel. The Bible says, Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. I want to share with you today on the unfolding of destiny. I want you to know that you can win with the hand you were dealt with. There are people here today who believe that you can win. You were born on the wrong side of the track. You came in the wrong family. You, you Everything is not set up for you to win. Man, I don't mind where you came from. I came with a word from God for you today. That he is appointed today to turn everything around in your life. Come on, hallelujah. He is going to show you the day that no matter where you came from, everything can turn around in your favor. Hallelujah. Here the Bible says concerning Leah, Leah was not the one that you would choose. Even the word of God put it like that. She was tender eyed. But Rachel was beautiful and well favored. But God is going to choose Leah. You know, the Bible says that Jacob came, and when Jacob came, he saw Rachel and fell in love with her and asked to marry her. The dowry for that was for him to serve seven years. He worked seven years to marry Rachel, and the Bible says it seemed to him like seven days. Because he loved her. But when the time came for him to marry her, her father, which was Laban, convinced her that the only way you can get married to him is if you pretend to be Rachel. She went along with the deception and married him. In the night when the marriage was consummated, the next day, Rachel, uh, uh, Jacob got up and realized it was not Rachel. It was Leah. Can you imagine the embarrassment? 
the utter shame. And here am I. He married thinking he's going to get Rachel, but it's me. And he, she lived in that situation. But there are three things I want to show you from her life. And the first one was her discouragement. Leah was discouraged because of a lack of physical beauty. Somebody told her what beauty is supposed to be. Somebody told you how your life is going to be. And because you did not live up or match up to what they I day, you felt that you were not good enough. But today I cancel that from your life. You're going to realize that you are who God made you to be. Hallelujah. And you will not apologize for being here. The Bible says she was discouraged for a lack of physical beauty. And the word of the Lord says that here she is. Her father is going to suggest to her, if you are going to get by, you have to agree to deceive this man and pretend to be her sister in order for her to, for him to marry you. You know how many people are not living their real life? They're living the life that somebody has ordained or somebody tell you you ought to live. You are trying to live up much up to what others opinion are of you but men can always have an opinion but their opinion is nothing my God has an opinion of you God says I know my thoughts towards you it's a thoughts of good and not evil hallelujah to bring you to an expected end but you see when you don't know who you are it is easy for you to be deceived. When you don't know who you are, people are going to try to tell you what you should be like. They're going to try to convince you, you got to do this, you got to be there, you got to be like this, you got to act like this. But when you don't know who you are, you will easily compromise because you're trying to fit in but God don't want you to fit in he want you to stand out hallelujah he don't want you to be a part of he want you to lead come on somebody am I in the right church today Am I talking to the right people today? You don't have to be like nobody else. And the time has come for you to be an individual, for you to be a leader, for you to be in what God has ordained for you to be. You are trying to go along. You are trying for them to accept you. But no matter how much you try, they would never accept you. Because you are a royal priesthood. You are a peculiar people. You are a holy nation. You are different than them. You are not in darkness. You are walking in the light. Come on, say yes, somebody. You know, when I preach in Nigeria, when I say something true, the people say, I receive it. Come on, they say, I receive it. I came to tell you, you are not going to be like nobody else in your family. Some of you have been trying to be accepted by your family. And no matter how much you try, they reject you. You ain't going to try no more. You're going to know that you know that you know that God is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Her father convinced her. The only way you can get by is to pretend to be somebody else. Act like them. Pretend. Imagine during the night she had to pretend to be her sister. Here was this man making love with her and all of that when she knew in her heart that she was not the one. Can you imagine how low people can be brought when they don't know who they are? When you don't know who you are, everybody is going to try to tell you who you ought to be. You ought to dress like this. You ought to be like this. Come look at the magazines today. You got to act this way. You got to put tattoos all over your body. I'm not against you. That's, if that's what you want to do. But the time has come. Don't be like nobody else. You got to be an individual. Hallelujah. When God made you, he threw away the mole. There is nobody else. There is only one you. And that is who you are. 
That's why Paul says, I am what I am by the grace of God. Can you say that with me, somebody? I am what I am by the grace of God. I don't have to be nobody else. Come on, I don't have to be nobody else. I am who I am. Come on, hallelujah. I am who I am. I am who I am. Come on, say it again. I am who I am. And the Bible says, the Bible says she was discouraged because of a lack of physical beauty. And she was discouraged because of a lack of personal honesty. She should have known I should not do that. God is able to make a way. I don't have to sell my body to get you. I don't have to bow to nobody else to get you. When God is ready to make a way, he is going to move every mountain and make a way for me. I don't have to sell out. I can trust God. Come on, is there anybody believe that God can make a way from one day to the next? One day nobody don't know who you are and the next day you are walking in favor. Come on, hallelujah. Like David, like David, you are running from Saul for 20 years until one day you went from the, from the running into the palace. In one day. God don't need a week. He don't need a month. He can do it in a day. David got up. Joseph got up in prison. He got up in prison that day. Not knowing that was the day. You are going from the prison to the palace in one day. Somebody is going from the prison to the palace in one day. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I came to tell you. God told me to tell you, you are moving from the back to the front. It's going to happen in one day. The Bible says she began to get children for Jacob. She got her first son. She called his name Reuben. She says, now shall my husband love me. But he didn't. She got another son and called his name Levi and says, now shall my husband be joined to me. She got a third one and called his name Simeon. She says, because the Lord saw that I was hated, he has given me this one also. She was using what her body can produce to try to gain the recognition she desired. But what you need can't come from you. It can only come from the Lord. Come on, hallelujah. What you are believing for is not something you can make happen. It has got to be intervention from God. And the Bible says she got the fourth son. And this one was different. Because the Bible says, she says, Now I will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, what I was looking for man to do, man can't do. But I turn my attention to the king of glory. Hallelujah. And now I'm going to bless the Lord. Come on, I said, now I'm going to bless the Lord. I try for him to fulfill me, but he can't do it. And I look for him to help me, but he can't do it. What I'm going to do is look to Jesus, who is a present help in time of trouble. He says, call upon me in the time of trouble, and I will hear, and I will answer you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. You got to remember Daniel. Call upon the one that can shut the mouth of lions. Come on, somebody. Call upon the one who can make a, a put in a condition in a fiery furnace. They heat the furnace seven times. But when they looked, they did not see the man. They saw them walking loosed in the fiery furnace. Because if God be for you, who can be against you? They put you down and God pick you up. Come on, somebody. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, they say no, but God say yes. The devil say no, but God say yes. 
God say, let them put you down. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to turn it around. I talk about Joseph in the first service. His brothers sold him, put him in a pit. But the same hands that put him in the pit was the same hands that had to take him out. Come on, somebody. You are going to rise up now. You will rise up. She says, you know what I'm going to do? Now I will praise the Lord. I tried to get it from him, but he's not giving it to me. I look, called, but he wouldn't answer. I'm going to turn my attention instead of looking the man. I'm going to turn to the Holy One of Israel. Is there anybody in journey today? You're going to look away from your situations. David says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill. Someone's come at my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth he that keepeth Israel shall not slumber behold he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the Lord is my keeper the Lord is my shade upon my right hand. And the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. And the Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forever. Come on, church. Say yes, Lord. That's what the Bible says. He that dwelleth in a secret place. Of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. I came to tell you, when she turned away from what he thought, and she says, you know what I'm going to do? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I sought the Lord and he heard me. Hear what the Bible says. She said, I will make my boast. There's only one person I can boast in. That says Jesus. Some people boast in, in, in Mike Tyson and he lose. You can boast in Tim Tebow and he didn't make it. Hope he's going to come back. You can boast in anybody else and, and they can fail. He was only one person you can boast in. And he is the king of kings. He is the Lord of law. Come on, hallelujah. He defeated the devil when he was dead. What will he do when he come back and he is in his glory? That's what the Bible says. Every knee shall bow. Is this too much for you guys? Do you want to go home now? Do you want to hear the rest of the story? What is the rest of the story? And the rest of the story is that she turned her attention to God. And when you do that, the first thing that happened to her was that she began to accept herself for who she was. I'm not them, but I am me. Come on, I'm not where I want to be, but at least I'm not where I used to be. Come on, say yes, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I may not have all the money like such and such a person, but at least I'm alive. And wherever there is life, there is hope. God is able to change it in my life. But when you come close to Jesus, nobody can fool you no more. You will know that you know that you know that you know that God is with you. And he says, when you come to me, I will in no wise cast out. I will be with you. That's why he says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And I will be with you even to the end of the age. She accepted herself for who she was. She can look in the mirror and says, wow, girl, you got it going on. In the past, she would have waited for him to tell her. But when you know who you are, nobody got to tell you. You can know it for yourself. Come on, is there anybody know what I'm talking about today? Come on, hallelujah. In the past, you wanted somebody to tell you. But now you can tell yourself, I know who I am. And 
I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I know who I am. I got saved at 13. I was telling uh, the brother with uh, Celebrate Recovery. At 13. I never smoked marijuana, not one day in my life, or use any other drug. I didn't need to go there because I got saved and delivered and filled with the Holy Ghost. At 15, I met God and found my destiny. God knew men to save each one of us. He chose to save him then, and he chose to save me now. I came to tell you, you can't lose with Jesus. Come and tell somebody, you can't lose, you can't lose, you can't lose with him. She accepted herself for who she was. Second thing, she began to assess her life in light of its true perspective. What is the most important thing? And the Bible says her sister stole the images of her father. The father pursued him and wanted his gods back. He called them gods that her sister can steal. <laughs> can you imagine a God? You have a God that somebody can steal? I thank God I have a God nobody can steal. I have a God who is my God. Come on, hallelujah. He is bigger, greater, mightier. He is the first and the last. He is the beginning and the end. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Come on, hallelujah. He has the world in his hands. My God. Come on, my God. But you see, when you know who you are, you got to go after none of that stuff. None, nothing. A Christ-like character developed in her because she made a choice. She was discouraged for a lack of physical beauty. Yeah? She was discouraged because of a lack of personal honesty and discouraged for a lack of marital unity. She discovered, I will praise the Lord. Not man, not religion, not church, but Jesus. That's what we want in journey. We want you to have your own experience with Jesus. We want you to meet Jesus for yourself. Hallelujah. And then you will not be moved. The time came that she died. And when she died, it is said she gained heaven. She gained her husband's appreciation. Rachel was buried under a tree. He buried her in the hall of the greats where Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Rebekah was, was buried. In other words, he recognized at the end of her life that God was with this woman. Come on, hallelujah. I came to tell you when you seek God and serve God, they may talk about you behind your back that they would never say before your face because they know that you are real. Come on, hallelujah. They will know because they may speak against you, but it can't work. The Bible says no weapon. Come on, can you say that with me? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against you in judgment, you will condemn. The tongue may form, but it can't prosper. Come on, hallelujah. They may curse, but it can't work. Hallelujah. Because God says you are blessed. I came to announce the day that you are blessed. This is your day. Say amen, somebody. This is your day. The third, second thing she gained was what we call historical record. When Boaz got, you know you guys have to read the Bible more. So you can follow me when I quote these scriptures. When, she, when Boaz got married to Ruth, in the book of Ruth, you remember how Boaz married Ruth? He married Ruth because Ruth was the second, it was the first cousin of her husband who died. And he was the second cousin. In order for him to marry her, he had to make a covenant. He had to bring the guy to the entrance of the city and get the guy to take off his shoes. When the guy took off his shoes, Boaz put it on. And when he put it on, he assumed the right to marry Ruth and make her his wife. 
That's why God told Joshua and Moses, the place you are standing is too holy. You got to take off your shoes. Because this one is too big for you. Only when I put it on, you can win. Only when I put it on. The Bible says, at the end of a life, just before Jacob died, he prophesied on all of his sons. He prophesied on Joseph. He prophesied on every one of them. When he came to Judah, he says, Judah, out of whom a scepter shall rise. And Judah shall have a scepter from between his feet. In other words, he will be the father of kings in Israel until Shiloh comes. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Shiloh is a pet name for Jesus. What God was saying from this simple woman whose name is Leah, who was tender-eyed and people despised, out of her will come forth the Messiah. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. And when I prayed for you, that's what he is telling me to tell you. Some of you have been struggling with all kinds of situations. But you don't know today is the day he is appointed to take you from the back to the front. Get ready for supernatural favor to show up in your life. Come on, say yes. You, you, you should be saying it is me you're talking about, Bishop. It is me. I am the one that you're talking about. Hallelujah. God is going to open doors for me now. This is my season of intervention. Hallelujah. I prayed. Come on, I prayed for a long time, but now things are going to work out miraculously. Hallelujah. Is there anybody believe what I'm saying to you? The business is going to work out. Come on, I say the business is going to work out. The things you've been praying for is going to happen for you. Hallelujah. Yes, the doors of a shut is going to open. I say to the doors, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Here is a woman who had nothing going for her. But God took her from the back and bring her in front. God is going to take you from wherever you are today and suddenly you're going to show up. You go to a restaurant with nobody and just because you come, everybody will come. Hallelujah. You, you've been working on the job and people been whispering against you when they go to the, when I mean, they're talking and when you show up, everybody quiet. They're going to still talk, but you know what they're going to talk? They're going to say, look what the Lord has done. Come on, say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They won't even know how it happened in your life. Let me say this and then I close. There was a man in Guyana by the name of Prakash. Prakash is a Hindu. Used to worship idols of the worst kind, Kali. And I went to a church and he sat in front. I called him and said to him, if you come to this church, God is going to make you rich. He decided he was not going to do it. He went away to Suriname and got involved in a business that was not legal. And uh, the police came after him and he hid from the police in a fire ant's nest. He was bitten from head to toe. And when he was bitten, God came to him and says, what are you doing here? You should have obeyed the man what he told you. And in the fire ants nest, he decided, I'm going to obey. So he came and God blessed him so quickly that the people in the neighborhood would drive past his house and said drugs because they don't know how God can take you from the back to the front so quick. Man, I came to tell somebody today, that's going to be your story. Come on, hallelujah. You are moving forward. I came to tell you the doors are going to open. Say yes, somebody. The way is going to be made clear. You know why? Because you decide, I am going to praise the Lord. I'm not going to be consumed by where I am. I'm going to look away from my circumstances. 
And I will praise the Lord. Can you stand with me and let us do exactly that? I see your future. Do one more thing. Hold the hands of the person standing by you. We're going to worship God. And we're going to pray for you. Yes, Lord. Hold their hands. Uh, is there anybody here? You, you are ready for this to happen in your life. I don't want this to be a sermon, uh, Bishop. I don't, I don't want this. I want this to be my reality. Come on. Hallelujah. I want this to be my reality. I want to go from the back to the front. I, I want things to work out for me. If that's your desire, come to the front. And let's just worship a moment. We're going to pray for you and believe God in your life. Come on. Hallelujah. If that's your desire, I, come, come, come quickly. We're going to worship here. If that is your desire, I don't want this to be a sermon come if you i don't want it just to be a sermon i want to walk in this i want to walk in this go ahead guys let's go ahead hallelujah Just close your eyes. Don't make this about nobody else.
what's going on in our lives we want to worship you we worship you we worship you come and tell him I worship you I give you glory 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 I give you praise I give you praise I give you glory hallelujah yes in the name of Jesus I look away from where I am I look away from where I am. Oh, the Lord. from what's going on in our lives we choose to turn to you hallelujah can you tell him I choose to worship you I choose to worship you I choose to lift you up I choose to glorify you come on hallelujah he's going to minister to you today he's going to deliver you today hallelujah we worship you we worship you we worship you yes Lord do one more thing for me we're going to pray in a moment but I want you to raise your hands just where you are this is not about nobody else this is between you and God hallelujah yes I worship you I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I give you glory, glory, glory. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Come on, hallelujah. I give you glory. Oh, yes, I give you praise. I worship you. Oh, Adam Osoya, La Maria, I give you praise, yes, Lord, yes. I give you praise, I give you praise.
I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you glory, glory, glory. Show your money, your song, your money, and I. I give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. You are my God. Tell him you are my God. You are my God. You are my God. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit of God. Just close your eyes for a moment. Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for touching our lives. Today, in the name of Jesus, I release to you divine favor. I release to you the things that God has spoken concerning your life. Today, I cancel every assignment of devils. I break off every generational bondage. I cancel and I hereby release and declare that you are free. I decree freedom in your life. Come on, freedom. I decree freedom in your heart, in your soul, in your mind. I say the doors are open now. That which was known, that which the devil held back, I cancel it and I release you. Yes, Lord. In the name of, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today, today I release you. I release you from every curse, every bondage, every limitation. I release you from that spirit that has been holding, trying to hold you back. From today, I release you to walk in favor. Let doors open that was never opened before. Let favor show up in your life. Let breakthroughs come. Come on, say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree favor, favor, miraculous favor. Is there anybody here you believe in for favor? Let favor show up in your life. Let miraculous favor intervention. I decree intervention. Miraculous intervention now. In the name of Jesus. send you home in a minute in the name of Jesus but he want me to tell you son that he that has begun a good work in you will finish it he heard your prayer in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I appointed today to give you what you desire in the name of Jesus he said I'm breaking off from you the limitations, the bondages the devil have spoken, the words that came, the words that came especially from a specific person in your family, in your generation, but we cancel those words and release you to walk in divine favor. In the name of Jesus. To walk in divine favor. In the name of Jesus. This guy here. This guy. Come, come. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see you running, you're running, 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 but you, you seem as though you're never reaching the tape, never reaching the end. God says, today I turn it around for you in the name of Jesus.
you will no longer run in fear but you will run with my word with my word and you will win the race that I have ordained for you come on hallelujah in the name of Jesus 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 come sister come put your hands in my You said, I will serve the Lord, but I want to be sure. I want to be sure. He says, I'm going to make you sure. I will touch you. He says, I know the plans in your heart, and I will bring them to pass. In the name of Jesus. Watch it, me. You dream. But I saw you dreamt something and you're not sure what the answer is. Some complicated, you don't show what the answer is. This is what the answer is. The Lord says, I'm going to come cause you to write these things down. You will journal it. You will journal your journey that people will read and know the glory of the Holy One of Israel. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. You thought that you were Adam's wife. You thought that you were Adam's wife and that's where you served. But I did not call you just to be his wife as who you are. But today I have appointed I have appointed to speak my word through your mouth with power. I have ordained for you to bring people before my throne. And you will prophesy the word of the living God. Say yes. Yes. And the Lord says you're going to do it. And you will give him all the glory. You will give him all the glory. Yes. You will be known as a prophetess in this house, Abusha. In the name of Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Why do you try to hide in the crowd? Why do you try to hide in the crowd when you know what God called you to do? But you were saying, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I don't know if these people would want it. I don't know, I don't know if this is going to be okay. But God says, it is okay and stop that. Rise up and be what I call you to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know what I'm talking about, woman? Are you going to do what I tell you to do? In the Are you going to do what I tell you to do? on your knees in the name of Jesus then today I bless you to serve with power in the house of the Lord come on hallelujah yes Lord say yes 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 Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord you were supposed to die the devil had asked for your life he had asked to kill you a few years ago he had asked to kill you and only by the grace of God you're still alive. Is that true? Did you tell me that? Yeah, you didn't tell me that. Laura, put, put your hands on her shoulder. Put your hands on her shoulder. Because God has preserved your life. The woman, I set you apart. You have to come to prayer first on Sunday morning at 9. In the name of Jesus, then today I hereby release to you the level of favor and glory so you can walk in this assignment. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. What, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You work? What do you do? You've been sick. And the only reason you were sick is because you were not interceding the way you should be. I delegate you the authority to intercede for God's purpose in the earth. And if you do that, then in the name of Jesus, may you walk in health and favor. May you walk in blessing in the name of Jesus. Let the glory come in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This, this, this girl here. Bring her, bring her to me. Bring her, bring her to me in the name of Jesus. As Erica, I'm, I'm going over the time, but you, uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name, oh, come, bring her here, bring her here. Yes. Uh, 
What's wrong with you? What's wrong? with our mom, your mom just now. This is not your mom time now. This is your time. This is your time woman. God says he's going to touch you. In the name of Jesus, you will be one who will know the Holy One of Israel. You will know the Holy One of Israel. You will know him. He's going to come and visit you very soon. He's going to visit you. And he's going to ask you for something. Whatever he asks, say yes. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Come, baby, come. Yes, come. Come and touch me. God bless you. Sonny for me. Hold hands. Just one more time. Just hold hands with somebody. Can we sing it one more time, Pastor? The Lord is in this place. There is saw you as pastor's wife but today we want to honor you you believed in him when nobody else did you walk with him when nobody else would have but that's not the extent of your life you're going to be walking in power you're going to be somebody is so different miracles would be your thing you used to think, well, I, I, I can't remember and, and all that stuff. But now God is going to, the word will, the word will become flesh. You will see in the realm. You begin to see even in the souls of people. When they come in your presence, you will see what's in their soul. Some people wouldn't like that because they will try to hide it and more they try to hide is more you will see. Hallelujah. But today we bless. Can you rest, stretch out your hand and let's just bless her. Bless her. Come on, bless her. Where is love? Where is love? Where is love? Come, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, come. Yes. Can we bless the woman of God? Come on. Hallelujah. Can we bless her? Can we bless her today? We bless you. We bless you for the fullness of what God has called you to be. We are ready to hear the word out of your mouth. We are ready to follow and flow in the glory of God that's going to come out of your being. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. We bless you. We bless you.
Yes, God. Holy Spirit, you're still working. You're still healing. I know we're over time right now, but I don't want to rush this moment. I don't want to rush the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we just give you complete freedom. We give you complete freedom right now, Holy Spirit. that this place showers for showers of mercy time. Somebody's touching you. What, what the Lord would say today is that as you feel that touch, feel that touch. Just close your eyes and feel that touch. Reach out and touch already. Feel that touch and touch somebody so that you know that you are not alone. Even when you leave here, you are not alone. You are part of a family. You are loved. There are people who care for you. Do not be isolated. Don't let anything isolate you. You are part of a family. You are not fighting this by yourself. There are people you don't even know who are praying for you. You are strong and you can do this. You were born for this. You were born for this time. You were born for the task that God has given to this house. Pastor Eric, you were born for this. Padre, you were born for this. Worship team, you were born for this. You were born for this. Tell your neighbor, you were born for this. You are not alone. Tell your neighbor, you are not alone. You are not alone. You are God's family. Come on, tell them like you mean it. You are God's family. You are not alone. You are not alone. Will you sing this song over them again, please?
Come on, your freedom starts with your worship. Come on, it's me to worship the Lord. Come on, sing this. Come on. Go after your freedom right now. It's free. To whom the sun sets free is freely deep. Come on, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Come on, there's freedom in your worship right now. Jesus reigns. Yes. Yes, God, you reign and you'll rule. You are the center of our attention, God. You are the center of our affection, oh God. Yes, Jesus. For there is freedom. Come on, we're time with everything you have right now. Come on, freedom. For freedom reigns in this place. Let it rain and rule. Let it wash over us, oh God. Yes. Yes. Yes, God. over every single person in this room right now, Father, that they will walk in complete and total freedom by the name, by the blood of Jesus. Lord, you are enough. Holy Spirit, you are with us. And God, no matter what we're facing, no matter what battle we are going through, God, you are more than enough. So Lord, I pray that God, we would walk in complete and total freedom by the blood of Jesus. If you want to walk in freedom right now, come on, give him praise. Come on, give the Lord praise right now. Yes. Yes. We have a little saying around here, and we repeat it a lot, but we pray that our corporate encounters will lead you to personal encounters with God throughout the week. we got to take what we encounter here and apply it to what happens at home, don't we? So that when that time comes, man, there, there's things in life, I'm just reminded, when, when Jesus uh, was going through a, a teaching process with disciples, they were trying to cast out this demon-possessed boy. And he says, this kind only comes out by prayer and fasting. Man, it, it takes sometimes encountering the Lord on our own. If we just go blindly into a situation, man, it, it takes that encounter first in order to apply the freedom and in order to apply the miracle. Amen. So what you need to do is you need to spend time, what? In his presence. You need to spend time in his presence. So God, we just thank you for this morning, God. We thank you for Bishop and the word that he brought today, God. And we just declare freedom over this house, God. May we walk with you. May we realize, God, we cannot go anywhere for your presence. God, if we go up to the heavens, you were there. If we go down to, to, to hell, God, you were even there, it says in Psalms. And so, Lord, we thank you for that, God. We thank you for your presence that is abiding in this house, God. And we declare freedom this week for us. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone said amen. Come on. Come on. Give God some praise right now. Hey, we love you guys so much. And we cannot wait to see you.